In this video, I'd like to share the best way to become better at your job, which is to ask good questions. By asking effective technical questions, you'll get help a lot faster, which will lead to you learning more, and that learning will make you a better and happier engineer. One way to think about this is that as a mobile engineer, or more broadly, any kind of engineer, our job is fundamentally about getting things to work. But as anyone who's been programming for any amount of time can tell you, getting things to work is often very difficult. Software can be arbitrarily complex. So no matter how good of an engineer you are, you're going to encounter something that you don't understand and you'll get stuck. So getting yourself unstuck is a fundamental part of being an engineer. And the method by which you get yourself unstuck is asking for help. That's why in this video, I want to talk about the core ingredients that make up effective technical questions. If I had to summarize what makes up a good question, it boils down to making it as easy as possible for others to help you. That means providing enough context, code, and information about what you're trying to do, what went wrong, and what investigation you've already done. Let's go through an example about an issue someone has in the tip calculator app. And I'd like to illustrate how to transform a really bad question into a really good question. In the end, I'll share a few tactical tips I use all the time when I ask questions. Starting with version number one of this request for help, my tip calculator app is crashing. This is a good example of a question where you almost certainly won't get help since there's simply not enough substance in the way this question is posed. And unfortunately, so many of the questions on Facebook, LinkedIn, or other forums end up looking like this. And that leads to a lot of wasted time and frustration for both the people asking the question and answering the question. A better version might be my tip calculator app is crashing when I delete the contents of the base amount edit text. This is a lot better because now we can understand the particular scenario or edge case when the crash is happening, and that can reveal a lot about the root cause. In this case, the steps to reproduce the issue are really simple, but in general, you should try to create the smallest possible example of what demonstrates the bug so it's easy for people to focus on the crux of the issue. The next version of the question tells us that the app is crashing with a number format exception. That's a really relevant error that's helpful for creating a hypothesis around the root cause of the bug. But it's still hard to give actionable feedback since there's no way to suggest a fix until we know what the code is currently doing. Now here's the first version of what I'd consider a good question. This question now calls out, here's the stack trace and here's the relevant code from mainactivity.kotlin. This is even better since the stack trace removes any ambiguity around the root cause for the crash. And now we have the ability to check out the code corresponding to the stack trace. And finally, here's what I would consider the ideal question. We get all the information from before plus some investigation. I made sure this is not a null pointer exception since adding null checks around the edit text doesn't fix the issue. So I suspect the issue is either with the string to number conversion or the edit text widget has a bug in Android. This has all the information you could possibly want to diagnose the issue and really help this wonderful person. They've clearly tried a few things already, so I know they're serious about getting help, and they even offer two possible explanations. But now my job is as simple as expressing my opinion between the two options presented or potentially offer a third solution. One thing that's worth calling out is how educational it is to go through this process of formulating and improving your question. If you follow similar steps of documenting your high level intention, describing your expectation of what should happen and the mismatch in that expectation, along with what investigation you've done, not only will you learn a lot, but you'll also have a much higher chance of receiving help. In fact, there have been so many times when I've either figured out the answer to my question while in the process of asking it, or I gained a really valuable, broader awareness of the problem domain. Next, I'd like to share two practical tips that I regularly employ when I'm asking questions. First, don't be afraid to present a wrong or hacky solution. This way, you're giving people something to react to, and I found that people often enjoy correcting others more than they like helping others. For example, in the last version of the question, I bet many of you were triggered with the second suggestion about the edit text widget having a bug. 
because essentially this person is claiming to have found a bug in a core Android component, which is really improbable. But ironically, by saying statements like this, which are almost certainly false, you actually have a much better chance of getting help. My second suggestion is to focus on the readability of your question. After I've written a draft of my question, I always take a two minute break where I look somewhere else and then I read my question again. You want to make it as frictionless as possible for people to read your question and understand how they can help. That means you should use clear language, proper spacing, and the correct vocabulary. There are so many people who are learning how to code and learning how to build apps. Hopefully some of you are in that category and that's an amazing thing. You should know that there are so many people out there, including me, who want to help you with whatever you're doing. In order to effectively utilize all these people who want to help, the best thing you can do is develop the skill of asking good questions. If you follow the guidelines in this video, I can guarantee you'll get faster responses to your questions and become a better engineer in the process. By the way, if you know how to fix the bug that we danced around in the question dealing with a number format exception, let me know in the comments what you think. And if you're interested in learning how to build the tip calculator, I'll leave a link for that as well. Let me know if I've missed anything or if you have any feedback, I'll leave links to other resources in the description right below the like button. And if you found this helpful, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.